coming here now every day now that Eric made you CEO again. Yeah, and you finally got him back in the position he was supposed to be in the first place. This time you even gave me the office to go along with the title. Now I get to do all the not-so-fun stuff that goes along with being in charge. Oh, you're really <laughs> hating this, aren't yeah. you? I can tell. Hey. May I see you for a minute? Uh, we're only going to be a moment anyway. Eric has a dinner date. Sure. Come on in. Come on in. Well, that's good, because I, I guess it won't be news for very much longer. Taylor! I'm getting married. <laughs> so, the wedding is tomorrow. Is she pregnant? <laughs> Look, um, I'm in the market for a best man. I don't think I'm going to find any lifelong friends by the end of the day, so... Dude, that's, that's sad. You really have no friends. <laughs> I love you. Look, I don't need friends, okay? You're family. You can't turn me down. Uh, have you seen Oliver? What, did you misplace him? Maybe he went home for... So, you have seen him? Well, I saw some guy in the elevator, so... You know, he works for us now. Seriously? You got the job? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's gonna be doing the music for the Hope for the Future promos. Oh, okay. So, that means he's working for me now. So, what do we do? Do, do we create a position for her? Well, she could fill Pam's old position. Then again, Aggie has a different skill set. Remind me again, what skills did Pam actually have? Uh, never mind. Bridget's all right with this, is she now? I mean, Agnes staying? Off and on. I think that she was okay with it originally, but um, you do remember the first time we got married, Mother, don't you? When I do. She thought she was pregnant, mm. she thought I was going to leave her, and it's so. all. She was just a girl then, wasn't she? Yeah. She was. Anyway, I think she's getting a little better now, and hopefully she'll settle into this. So we've only got one day to log that Milan sale for this quarter, and... Uh, where's Nick? We were just having a conversation. It's so easy for you to talk to him. Still, you can just talk to him like that? Okay, we work together. We're friends. You and I, we work together, Bridget. You and I are friends. Come on, you're making this much harder than it needs to be. No, I'm really not. It's the lying that makes it worse. Lying, Bridget. We're just we're putting it behind us. And we're letting it go. Nick and Jackie are not perfect. They'd be the first ones to admit that. We are no different than them. We're not perfect. Now, I can live with that. Why can't you? <laughs> Is someone there? Adam, uh, hi. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just Whip called in and he wanted us all to meet in his office in about 20 minutes. Why? He didn't say, but I, I have a feeling it was important. Big rush hour. Gotta get across town. Do I need a, a suit? A wedding? I'll dress you, don't worry. What, what, what do I have to do? Well, not lose the rings. I need to make a speech or something, right? Yeah, you gotta say some nice things about me. Don't, I'll write them on your hand. It'll be okay. Dude, I'm serious. I've never it's, been a best man Oliver, before. it's gonna be fine. Okay, look. Complete idiots have done this before. Even drunk, okay? Just do what Steffi does, okay? She's the maid of honor. She's gonna be up there with you. All right, I, I gotta get going. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, wait, wait, wait.
Well, I'm head of PR last time I checked. Steffi, are you upset about this? Why would I be upset? It was my idea in the first place. I'm just glad my dad, now that he's CEO, agrees. All right, well, I'm glad you see it that way. I wouldn't interrupt him. My mom's about to tell him some big news. She's getting married. She is? Yeah. Steffi, that's wonderful. I'm really happy for her. Thank you. Needless to say, this is going to make your mom even happier. <laughs> hey, Bo, it's Whip. Everything all set for tomorrow. I'll be there, man. Great. How did everything turn out? We're a good team. You're going to be pleased. She must be quite a lady. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I wanted it to be special, you know, because that's what she is. And you make it happen, brother. See you at the wedding. Taylor, this is wonderful news. Thank you. I'm happy for you. Thank you. And you're invited. You're all invited. All? Yes, I said all. Well, look, I have to go, but you can count on me, all right? Okay. Bye. It's tomorrow, by the way. It's tomorrow? Yes, it means a lot to Whip, and I'm, I'm very excited myself. Oh, that is so romantic. Oh, I do have one thing to ask you. Um, since Stephanie is helping me put this together, I know this is very unreasonable, but would you, would you please not bring Donna? I, I know that's, it's not fair, but um, if you want to decline, I would understand why. No, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there for you. <laughs> See you then. Did that really just happen? Taylor, I think you forget how much we all adore and respect you. When was the last time a Forrester turned you down, anyway? Hmm. Is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> Congratulations, Taylor. I mean it. I appreciate that, Brooke. <laughs> Thank you. And I hope that you and Whip have many, many happy years together. Well, I'm sure you do. believe that she would even ask you to do this. And Honey Bear, I, I can't believe that you would go along with this. Sweetheart, you and Taylor aren't close, not at all. You barely know Whip. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see why you'd want to go to the wedding at all. Because you're going? Well, I have to go, of course. I mean, Taylor was my, was my daughter-in-law for, for years. And she's given me grandchildren. It would be a huge insult if I didn't go. It's... Are you looking for me? Uh, no, actually, Taylor. I heard she was in the building. Yes, uh, she is. She's in uh, with Ridge and Brooke in Ridge's office. I was just with them. So you heard the news? Yes, I did. She's, uh, she's waited a long time to be this happy. You're right. I, kn I know you're right. She will always be a forester. She asked me to help with the wedding, so naturally I couldn't say no. So I'll, um, I'll see both of you there. Actually, I, I won't be going. There's, um, a little bit of a conflict. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, Eric, I'm not going to be at the office, uh, very much for the next couple of days. I got to move out before the bridegroom moves in. So I'm thinking I'll just call that hotel that I was at. Oh, no, now that's ridiculous. You need a home. Honey, I'll get a home eventually, but in the meantime, I'm going to no, stay In the meantime, you stay with us. You stay in the guest house. Nobody's using it. It's, it's available to you. You can take your time and you can decide what you actually want to do, all right? We'd love to have you. Wouldn't we, darling? I think that Whip may want to discuss your future here, Aggie. But we don't need a meeting for that. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Oh, well, you have expressed an interest in the design aspect of the business, right? And Bridget has asked you to stay on, so could you use an assistant, Bridget? Excuse me? Why don't we just table this for now and just... Table what? You talking about me? 
No, we are talking about Aggie's future. Well, what about Aggie's future? Aggie's future is completely secure here. Will somebody have a problem with that? We are wondering why you called us all together. Ah, oh, that's, that's about my future. No. I don't care if you have a terminal illness, you're not getting out of your contract. Well, uh, it is terminal, Nick, uh, but it has nothing to do with work. You see, I'm getting married tomorrow. What? what? Mm -hmm. That's right, and you're all invited. You all have to come. I don't care if you don't like me or not. It's a wedding, so pretend. <laughs> so, do you have a tux you can use? Whip said he'd dress me. Well, then, the only thing you'll need to complete your outfit is me on your arm. I'm the maid of honor. I'm, like, basically your date. You're not his date. Hmm. Kindly stop trying to steal my man. Okay, is there anything I can do? Uh, no, it's all covered. It's just a small ceremony. Whip already picked his best man, his cousin Oliver. Is that going to work? It was Whip's decision. Why wouldn't it? Well, you said that Steffi's going to be your maid of honor. So? So, Steffi's going to be all over Oliver, and Oliver's dating Hope. Well, Hope may still be in high school, but the rest of us aren't, so let's just stay out of it, okay? So have you done this before? No. Don't worry, everybody in my family's had like five or six weddings. First off, Whip will give you the rings to hold on to. He's gonna place them into your hands, and then you're gonna put them in your pocket. You lose the rings, and you'll be known as the person who ruined the wedding. And both her families will hate you. You won't lose the rings. Got it. Okay. Secondly, we'll both be up at the altar. You'll be eyeing me adoringly, of course. And then the minister will talk about all this boring stuff about love and not sleeping around and all that junk. Um, I don't think it's boring. That's because your mom may just stay home for most of her weddings, and then the minister will ask for the rings. That's me. You're right. And if you're half asleep, I will be your backup. I will just reach right to this Okay, pocket. well, time out, time out, time out. Oh, my gosh, Whip. I don't know what to say. Oh, thank Congratulations. You, thank you very much. Is she the only woman in your life anymore? Oh, yeah, that's, that's what Mom said. Good thing I was able to reach her. Is Aunt Joy coming? No, unfortunately, she's uh, off on a cruise. Hey, Nick, does he have a no-pillow-talk clause in his contract? <laughs> hey. Good question. I'm not so worried about Taylor seeing Jackie and my ideas, but our employees. Is this the time to sketch? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I, 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 you know that not my first wedding gown that I designed last season? I was just thinking, if I made a few alterations, I think it would be perfect for Taylor. Serious, don't, don't kid around. Seriously? I mean, because I'll go get her go. and bring her here. Go! <laughs> I'm going to be the only person who's not married. Oh, don't oh, worry. Honey. The three-headed monster is slow but sure in stalking its victims. Love, commitment, monogamy. We all say oh. never going to happen to me. But your time, Aggie, it's going to come. Oh, I guess I just have to be patient a little while longer then. <laughs> Eric, uh, do you really think that this is wise? I, I mean, Stephanie and I have a, a tendency to bring out the worst in each other without even trying to. You're right, I'm guilty. I tease you too much. I shouldn't do that. <sighs> She'll be out in the guest house, all the way out in the guest house. Uh, I'm just thinking of her comfort. Really. Look, I'm not going to have a member of my family wandering around homeless when I have a place to put them up. Now, that's that. We'll each have to make a toast. You talk about your mom, I'll talk about Whip. You're right. And then there's the dancing. The newlyweds have their first dance. And then we join them. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. Except for one more thing. It's considered rude to leave before the bride and the groom. Stuffy, the wedding's at your house. They're not going anywhere. Do you know, statistically, more people fall in love at weddings than at any other event? Really weird. I, I thought it was New Year's or the Rose Bowl. She's just being... Yeah, I know what she's being. 
And she's right. You know, I mean, I, I can't keep you under lock and key. You haven't made me any promises. If you want to go drink champagne and kiss Steffi all night long, then that's fine. I can't stop you. What if I want to kiss you? Well, that I could stop. You know, if I felt like it. I don't really have time to shop for a wedding present. Come on, Taylor doesn't need gifts. Yeah, she'll probably use it as target practice anyway. I know. I know, that was uncalled for. I mean, but if you think about it, she was with Thorne, and then she was with Nick, and then she was with Rick. I mean, I have to wonder if she can really put her heart into making it work with anybody other than you. All right, thank you. I'll, yes, I'll see you first thing in the morning. You actually sure this is what you want? Yes, and I want to move on with my life. Yes. With him? Yes, with Whip. Oh, are these the flowers you've chosen for the wedding? They're gorgeous. They just brought a sample. Yes, I, I hope you like them. Honey, I'm doing... <sighs> you know, I'm doing everything I can to make this a very... A wonderful wedding for you. I know, I, I know you are. I know. You can teach an old dog new tricks, but they still dream the same old dreams, you know that. It was such a beautiful love story with you and Ridge. I know, I remember, I lived it. The good and the bad. You don't think that story could continue? I want you to look at it this way. After tomorrow, I won't have to always feel like the other woman, or the girlfriend, or the runner-up wife. You know how badly that feels. Mm -hmm. And I won't have to lie awake hearing that vile little voice in my head saying, what's Brooke got that I haven't got? Whip loves me for me. I'm going to be second choice. I know, I know. I love you, and I want you to be happy. I was just standing here, you know, kind of thinking, and... I just don't want you tomorrow to step in front of the minister and... be about to say the same vows that you say to Ridge and find that you can't say them to someone else. That's all. <laughs> 